Yo, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel, and we just recently this morning got announced a new Dragon Ball game, and it's not necessarily the kind of game that you may have been suspecting, maybe like a Sparking Zero game, but this is a new Dragon Ball game, and it's going to be a Dragon Ball MOBA. It's going to be completely different, something that we've never actually probably have witnessed before with any Dragon Ball game prior to this one. So we're going to be going ahead, we're going to be reviewing all of the information with all of this and really dissecting what we can expect with this upcoming new Dragon Ball game because it's really weird. They literally announced this Dragon Ball game to be coming out within, or at least it's a beta. They basically announced a beta for this Dragon Ball game to come out literally by the end of this month. And quite literally, this game was literally just announced earlier this morning. You know, I, I think this is the earliest we've ever gotten an, an announcement for a Dragon Ball game. And then the closest we've ever gotten for a beta in regards to that Dragon Ball game. Maybe this beta is the reason why we're not getting a Dragon Ball Sparking Zero beta or something like that. I don't know. But let's go ahead. We're going to be looking through all of this, looking at the trailer, looking at all the information. And we're going to be giving all the details behind this latest Dragon Ball game being Dragon Ball Project Multi. So for those of you guys who are wondering what exactly this game is going to consist of or what exactly a MOBA game is, if you guys have ever played a game like League of Legends, you know, I know there's a lot of people that grind League for hours at a time, just like over and over and over again. But this game right here, Dragon Ball Project Multi, will basically consist of the same format as League of Legends. You know, just like, you know, maybe Dragon Ball The Breakers consists of the same concept as like Friday the 13th or Dead by Daylight or something like that. We're basically getting that same implemented concept in this Dragon Ball game right here. So a MOBA game is something that we've never actually gotten for a Dragon Ball game before. So this is going to be a first. And we're basically going to be looking at when this is going to release, where it's going to be released on, and what we can actually expect for it. But a MOBA game, at least for those of you guys who don't know, I, the best comparison I could give it to you is a game like League, League of Legends. And this may, uh, to, based off of what I know, it probably is going to be a mobile game. But right here, it does say, stand together, win together. The Dragon Ball franchise's first 4v4 team-oriented battle begins. Regional B test schedule. So this right here, what's coming out, it says here on August 20th, 6 a.m. With this, this is the U... TC time so you guys can obviously do your time conversions I think for me that's like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. or something like that uh, I don't know if I'm gonna stay up for this but we're just gonna wait and see it, it really just depends on how uh, much energy I have <laughs> for that day but um, right here if I do stay up for it I probably will stream it on the channel so make sure you guys do have that notification bell on so you guys can be notified when I do stream here on the channel uh, I try to go live every now and then as much as I can so but yeah it says August 20th so what's going to be coming out here is not the full game what's going to come out is the actual beta test for the game so what's going to happen is August 20th you can do your time conversions early in the morning we will basically be getting access to play the beta and it'll be it'll basically be lasting for about a week and a half or so about two weeks or so because it's going to go all the way up to september the third right which is basically about almost two weeks or so so that's going to be quite a while to you know test out the beta run the beta see how things work uh, it's kind of sad that we're getting a beta for this game and not dragon ball sparking zero i'm just joking i'm just joking but realistically speaking you know what's happening here is is that we're basically going to get a beta for this next dragon ball game and it's already official you know they they've made a whole you know twitter page dedicated to it you know if you look on the steam website which we'll actually look at here in just a minute but if you look at the steam website it's already updated on there and we're actually going to click on this details tab in just a minute so we can look at more of the information that's on there as well but before anything though i do want to dive into the actual steam page for this game as you can see here on screen it says dragon ball project multi dragon ball project multi is dragon ball's first team oriented free to play game so this game is absolutely free to play when it does come out it will be completely free to play that is giving me the assumption that it is probably going to be a mobile game but we're gonna see because this is currently updated on steam so it says this game is not yet available on steam coming soon the developers is cambarion and then obviously bandai namico which is basically the developer for every single dragon ball game that released that releases here in the state so you can just tell based off of the images right here that this looks like a very well round game for a game that was literally just announced you know early 
earlier this morning. Uh, I'm not sure how long this game has been within the works, but this game does remind me a lot of a game like Dragon Ball Fusions or something like that. I wasn't the biggest fan of Dragon Ball Fusions, but you know, it was still a pretty cool game to you know be around in a game that you can be involved in and stuff like that. But even right here, like if you look at this render right here of Super Saiyan Goku, it just looks really, really cool. This is basically what the Goku mid transformation looks like in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It looks really, really well. You see in this image right here, we have the Ozaru and everybody trying to attack the Ozaru and stuff like that. In this image right here, we do see Goku Super Saiyan versus Final Form Cooler. Uh, we also see another render picture here of Super Saiyan Goku. We're going to be taking a small brief look at the trailer here in just a second. But based off of these renders alone, this game just looks very, very well done. Like it looks like an incredibly well-rounded game. And I'm personally, like, I, I'm not the biggest fan of MOBA games. Obviously, I will give this game a try just because why not? I will, uh, I encourage everybody to give this game a try uh, regardless of what you think of MOBA games or not. And really see if you'll like it or not. You know, you could really just play it and think it's like the ter most trashiest thing on the planet. Uh, this is definitely not the kind of game that I will probably grind continuously like I would like a Sparking Zero. But I'm still here for it. You know, I'm still here for it. So moving back towards here. Okay, this is the actual official detailed page of the dragon ball project multi this was linked in the twitter post so i'll leave a link to that down in the description below if you guys want to check this out or check this page out specifically for yourselves but it says regional b test it's obviously starting from august 20th from 6 a.m to september the 3rd at 5 59 a.m it's a weird time to stop it but it's okay uh that's for utc and then obviously for pdt it's august 19th at 11 p.m and this goes up to september the 2nd at 10 59 p.m so you know it, it's basically stopping right before it hits the 11 p.m mark it says right here on the bottom participate on these platforms so it seems like there's going to be three specific platforms that this game will be coming on when it actually does release and we will basically be able to play it from there so the first one would be steam which is why we were able to primarily see it on the steam page and it will also be available in the app store and in the google play store so it seems like this is going to be mainly consisting of a mobile game that you'll also be able to play from steam which is not that bad which is probably why this game looks a lot better uh, based off of the renders that we've already seen from this trailer it probably looks a lot better than a game like dragon ball legends or something like that so that's really really exciting to hear the test regions for this this is just the test regions this isn't necessarily when the game does drop this isn't necessarily the regions the game will be available in but it says for the test region specifically when it comes to testing the beta it says canada france germany japan south korea taiwan the united kingdom and the united states so if you do live towards the middle of europe or you know towards the end of you know west asia you probably will not be able to have access to the entire beta test which is very very unfortunate i feel bad for a lot of people because if dragon ball sparking zero were to ever be a beta test these test regions right here will probably be the only places within the world that will also get a full-on beta but safe to say we are not going to get a sparking zero beta uh, at least not a beta that it will release globally so you know th there's no reason to suspect something like that anyways safe to say that this game will also be cross-platform from steam players to google play players to app store players there's no reason why to believe otherwise you know um, i'm not entirely sure of league of legends i've never really grinded league of legends like that but i'm not entirely sure if league is also available on like the app store or something like that it very well could be uh, i do know it's available on steam and stuff like that but i don't know but a dragon ball mobile game is very very different you know i'm not gonna i'm not necessarily gonna say that it's good or is what we want for for a dragon ball game i think dragon ball sparking zero is the hype right now this is just a cool added bonus for dragon ball games um you know, this fall is going to be a very, very uh, exciting uh, fall for us as Dragon Ball fans with Dragon Ball Daima coming out. This, you know, basically coming out right before the fall. This is coming towards the end of the summer. And then obviously Dragon Ball Sparking Zero coming out within the fall. So we've been getting a lot of things in terms of Dragon Ball content this year, you know. So it, it's very nice to say that we are eating well th this this year because, you know, by granted, it is the 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball. So, you know, it, it's really, really cool to say if you look here on the screen right now the game looks absolutely phenomenal even with the game the way it opens up seeing all the z fighters you know like every single character looks really really well put together the renders of all the characters look very very well put together the animation alone for these characters did a lot better than what dragon ball super did when it first released you know so there's no complaints about that to be honest with you based off the gameplay that we see within the trailer itself i'm going to assume that the objective of the game is to basically fight off bosses whether that boss is in ozaru 
Cooler, any other villains that they may add to the game, Zomasu, stuff like that. We did see him within the beginning of the trailer specifically. And, you know, basically once you defeat the boss, your goal is to basically defeat the boss and find a dragon shell. And within the dragon shell, you're going to have to find a dragon ball. And the way you win is by collecting a certain amount of dragon balls by the end of the game. But either way, based off of the gameplay that you can see here on screen right now, it is a very well put together game, you know, at least for a mobile game or just a, a small Steam game that they're adding. And, you know, it's something that's worth to give a try. You know, it's something to actually do. It's something to uh, stall us before uh, we uh, get ready for Dragon Ball Spark Zero literally coming out uh, a month and a couple days after the beta test ends. So, I don't know. It's going to be really cool to try. I'm sort of excited. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. This is a different Dragon Ball game, different compared to what we're used to. But, again, I'm here for it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Ring that notification bell if you want to be updated with all types of Dragon Ball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.